Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Fazila Bijo and in this week's episode, I will be taking a little bit of a different route in terms of the chapter called Assumptions Become Facts, mainly because what came to my attention is that there is a way in which you can become far more mastered and adapt at uh, so adept at doing state akin to sleep. In this week's episode, I will be talking about how you start to develop your skill at the state akin to sleep. Because there is a practice and a meditation that you can be using in order to become far more mastered and um, able to, to practice the state akin to sleep. Why is SATS or the state akin to sleep so important? It is a gateway, it is a way for you to impress and imprint your subconscious mind with your desire, where you take your desire, and we've chatted about this in the previous, um, my previous video, where thinking fourth dimensionally is how you use your imagination to see the unseen, to see the desire that is yet to become real in your world to bring that into being, to bring that into your physical world. Now, this does require practice. Make no mistake about it. And the, the question is, when will you start? When you can become far more proficient at focusing your attention, at harnessing your creation energy, at focusing your thoughts, at learning how to move your state of consciousness at will, that is when you start to manifest. So my job, my mission, my desire is that everyone learns how to do this, create at will, create a better life, become the one that you truly desire to be, become the person who is confident, who has the, the money, who has the relationships, who has the happy marriage, who has the special person in their life. Why rely on creating and manifesting um, things one by one when you can become the person who has it all? Let's get into this. Out of This World is a, an amazing book that Neville wrote where he talks about the reality of people not realizing that they can, they can change their external world. All they have to do is focus, yeah, and all you have to do is focus and condense your power of your imagination to actually penetrate through what you think is real and physical. Now, this book has one purpose of removing the veil of your senses and so that you do not have to employ effort but rather using the tools, using the processes and the techniques that have been given to us in and amongst all of his books to really turn on your manifestation power, to really turn on your ability to create that which you want at will. I want you to become aware that the objective world, your physical world, when you can turn your attention away from it, that vanishes and you can actually step into the world where you utilize your creation power and your imagination to create everything you desire. So I want to spend a little bit of time here on sats and you understanding now what sats is about. So let's take the scenario. Have you ever driven down the road or on your way from work uh, to home or from home to work and suddenly you realize you don't remember the last couple of kilometers. I live in South Africa so we use the, the imperial system or miles if you're in the, the US or any other part of the world. When you've driven down a couple of miles or kilometers down the road and you don't realize where you're at and you're like how did I get here? What? How did the past couple of minutes go by like this? Or maybe you wake up in the middle of the night and you need to go to the bathroom and you basically fumble, you stumble around, you know, you know how to get to the bathroom and back and you're not quite awake. Now those times are when your brain is in, in that really stepped down phase where you are in alpha or theta waves. 
And this is where you have a deeper relaxation. It's like going into meditation. We achieve alpha and theta waves through prayer, through meditation, even just to doing routine things. Another example could be while you are maybe doing your hair, that you're so busy just brushing and, um, and drying your hair, you don't realize um, the time that's passed. Now, Neville Goddard, who is an amazing metaphysical teacher, philosopher, a mystic, created and brought about this uh, whole movement around manifestation, which is the hyper-relaxed state called SATS, or state akin to sleep. He experienced, he taught, and he helped us realize that when we're in that alpha or theta brainwaves, we can actually access our subconscious mind and plant in seeds of belief. It makes it far more possible and far more easier for you to manifest all that you desire. In that relaxed state, you imagine what it's like to achieve everything that you possibly wanted to achieve and have in life. It's switching into that autopilot state. Your brain actually doesn't see the distinction between what is real and what isn't. And this is where we take advantage of impressing the subconscious mind. Now, before you get into SATs, if you are challenged by SATs, if you are finding that you cannot stay awake when you go into that, that time, that drowsy state of the state of getting to sleep, you're going to practice this as a precursor because the more you practice these, uh, this meditation, the more you practice this mindful mental discipline, the more you are going to be able to control your attention. And when you control your attention, you can then go into sats with ease. So controlling the direction of your attention is what's important here. You've got to have a regular and consistent exercise and practice. It does take a bit of time. However, imagine what you can achieve in 30 days from now. Imagine if you did this exercise for just five to 10 minutes a day, in 30 days, you will become far more proficient at focusing your attention. All it means is that you're gonna be gently guiding your mind back to an object that you choose to focus on. So why bother with any of this? Because when you can focus your concentration, you can change any area that you choose to in your life. This also serves as a foundation to guide you through the more advanced techniques that um, Neville has taught us. And now I know the state akin to sleep takes a bit of practice, but if you can start with this practice, you will start to see changes happen. You're going to achieve a heightened sense. You're going to have mental clarity, awareness and focus so that you can magnetize all of those things that you desire. So here is the exercise for focused attention. It is so this is an open eye meditation or exercise. You're going to focus your attention on an object in front of you. So the gazing method is also for, it's also quite used in in yoga and there is also a Buddhist um, practice of the wall gazing method. This is very similar to that. Now Neville practiced a lot of these techniques because he knew they worked so you're not going to look at the surface of the object so imagine looking at a wall what you're going to do is look into and beyond the surface and it does require that you relax so you start off with a little bit of breathing just to center and bring yourself into the presence i've talked about how we withdraw our attention from our environment in our in a previous in previous episodes you're now going to do that here blocking everything else out you look into the wall it could be a carpet it could be any object which possesses depth now what that means is that you're not going to uh, look at a piece of paper for example a wall will give you it will have dimensions uh, a carpet will also have some level of detail to that by using your focus, by training your focus and looking at that when you go into the stillness, you're going to start to look at the, the, the object, but you're going to look at beyond that. So the object is in front of you, but you'll start to just relax and not focus on that 
object, but you look beyond and into the object. Whatever you look at, arrange it so that there isn't too much reflection that comes from it. Now, when you've started to get into focused attention, as you start to get into that autopilot, remember driving home and you don't realize how the past couple of minutes have gone. What you're going to do is pretty much the same thing here because here's what you're going to end up into the next space of doing is imagine as you look into that depth of the wall or the object or the carpet you are only going to see and hear what you want to see and hear and what that is is about the desire the state you wish to occupy what is that desire you most wish to have is it wealth is it a new job is it that special relationship what you're going to do is bring that up in your imagination in your mind's eye because as you have now when you have been focusing on the wall or the, the carpet or the lamp whatever it is that you have chosen to to practice with and try a couple of different things what you're then going to do is in that relaxed state as you get into the drowsy state you bring into your now into your imaginal um into your imagination into your your mind's eye you're going to bring the sea you're going to bring that controlled waking dream you'll feel as though you are now in this this you you're participating in the scene in your movie because what will happen is as you come out of this meditation you will feel as though you've returned from a great distance because this is where you'll have shut out the visible world. You'll have shut out everything that has to do with 3D, with physical reality. And your consciousness goes to that space of where you are having the experience of your desire already. And by having that experience of your desire already, and when you consistently practice it, this is what Neville means by our assumptions become fact. So here's something I devised as I went through the notes and I saw here's something to remind you of how you start to make your assumption more real and you use this acronym which I call DIAL to remind yourself what you start with. To assume something, you must know what you desire. So define your desire. Ask yourself, what do I desire? Choose something that you truly wish to have in your world, that you truly wish to become that person who has that. So if you are to become the person who has an amazing business that creates the, 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 the revenue and generates the money, etc., become the person who already has it. And that's what we're going to do is ask, what do I desire? I stands for identity. Who would I become when I am that person who has that business? What is my identity then? And that's what you're going to bring into your imaginal scene. And then we get to A, which is assume. Become the person and then assume the feeling of having that desired state. So you must now in your imagination, every time you do this exercise, is become the person who has that wonderful business you will bring into your feeling state who that person is how would how would they talk how would they walk what would they be doing in their lives and that brings us to l you live and act upon the conviction act upon with conviction that your assumption is real and neville says this assumption even though your senses, denied by the senses, which is which means even though it is not showing up in the 3D physical reality right now, when you persist in this assumption in your imagination, it becomes fact. Because we know that our consciousness is the one and only reality. And when you remain faithful to this vision and you sustain it with your mental attitude and you conform it to reality, you will prove that you have the power to give reality to your desires. So please, again, 
watch this video a couple of times and practice. Practice focused attention if you're struggling to get into the state akin to sleep. It's going to become so, so much more valuable for you when you are wanting to manifest. Please like and subscribe and share this video and invite others to this channel. I have made it my mission to be able to help you understand how to create your reality, how to use these wonderful teachings that are available to us. I know Neville Goddard may not be the easiest read and um, to follow the language. So I take um, chapter by chapter in terms of the books that he has made available and I bring this, these teachings to you. Leave your comments, please leave your feedback and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.